scratching the surface to call you an artist and an art object and an academic of the queer persuasion. You've taken something that would be more of a personal journey for a lot of people maybe in your situation and you've made it into this this public thing. Is it because you have this massive ego? What is the deal? Why, well, I, I why do. make it always be about you? Well, I absolutely do have a massive ego. Absolutely, yeah, right. number one. Um, and uh, number two, I just, I don't choose what I make art about. Um, I get obsessed with things and then I, I do things that I get obsessed with. And certainly my transformation and my body and plastic surgery, all that stuff, that's been that's such a big part of my life. I just felt like I had to explore it and express that. Tell me about being a cyborg. Is that a way you identify? Yeah, it is. There's so much of my body that's actually made of silicone that's been right. technologically altered and medically altered. There's many parts of me that are inanimate. But I actually identify more as being uh, artificial than, than I do actually in being transgendered. I'm not gonna try to normalize who I am. If I, if I was sitting here trying to normalize the fact that I had 60 cosmetic procedures, right. I'd be insulting your intelligence to try to be like, I'm just like everyone else. I'm not. Part of me that was raised to, to uh, not be a good girl uh, is, <laughs> it keeps focusing. I've got an obsession of my own in this interview. It, your penis. Uh huh. You mean because <laughs> I've changed everything out, so why so. not change that? Because so. it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother yeah, me. Yeah, I like it. It's just something that, you know, in this uh, quest to achieve uh, the ideal of femininity, it's interesting that that ideal also includes the penis. I don't think that that's what makes me a woman. Okay. And when I'm walking down the street, no one knows right. if that's there or not. Mm -hmm. The only time that that plays a part in my aesthetic mm -hmm. presentation right. is when I'm naked with, mm -hmm. with my boyfriend. and He likes it, and I like it. What is your reaction from women? Well, I think some women experience me as walking patriarchy, as walking oppression, <laughs> because I have sil silicone breasts. Are you talking about lesbian women, Nina? Sometimes, okay. sometimes, but also straight women. You know, absolutely. I'm getting it from all sides. I, I haven't, in that way, won approval from, right. from any large group. My gender expression is that I'm really hyper femme. I mean, I've so overblown femme right. that it's no longer heteronormative. I've queered it. I've taken a heteronormative idea of what femme is and I've amplified it. I do my makeup in a way that you can see the ways in which I've constructed it. Right. My work deconstructs it, mm -hmm. so I also expose that. Thank you so much. Thanks. It's been awesome talking to you. Thank I had you. a great time. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank you, me too. Feels real, feels real. Feels like a real hug. <laughs>